Hello everyone, welcome to Anchor Point Passions. I'm Sarah Sherman, and for today's video, we are doing trick shots. So today, I thought that it would be interesting if I were to do a different type of trick shot. I'm sure we're all familiar with a lot of the trick shots that are out right now where people are just, where they're shooting different objects and seeing what kind of challenges they can complete, like an apple off the head. Uh, I just did one about shooting toilet paper, <laughs> shooting the inside of the toilet paper roll and not damaging your toilet paper. but. This time, I thought that I would do a trick shot video that's not about really shooting different objects, but it's about the physical, the physical trick shot and how I'm going to manipulate the basic archery form to make these, these physical trick shots and shoot tens while I'm still at it. So, <laughs> so this is a little bit different from my normal Thursday video where I normally do like an informational video or a tutorial. So I'm still going to try and do a little bit about that while kind of talking about form as I go through these trick shots. So you know why these trick shots are hard and how I'm actually manipulating the basic archer's form to make these hard. Without further ado and without wasting any more time because I know you guys are excited to go out and watch these, let's go outside and hit the target. Alright guys, so here we are outside, going to be doing all the trick shots, but first I wanted to show you what a good, just normal archery form shot looked like first, so you can see how it's done right first and then we'll go into the crazy trick shots where I manipulate the form. So also as a side note, I'm going to be switching to my thumb button instead of my back tension because some of these shots will just be a little, some of these shots will just be a little too tricky as far as my back goes with trying to get off a clean shot with my back tension. So I'm going to need a little extra oomph with the thumb button. I'm still going to use back tension, but I'll just need my thumb button to help get the shots going. Uh, this, if you want to know uh, what exactly this model is, this is the True Ball Abyss Flex. Also, I'm going to have a side camera that's going to be on the target, so we can put that in now so you can see exactly where my shots land. Alright, so this is going to be the first trick shot. This is called the Act of Balance. So basically what this is, is I will stand with one leg uh, behind my back so that now my balance is off. Normally in archery, you stand with two feet, shoulder width apart to keep your balance and maintain your balance, but without a leg now we're bumping it up a little bit to where now I only have one leg to balance on. That was tricky. Now I've done that where I have drawn back already and then put my leg up, but I decided at the last minute to put my leg up while I was drawing back. That was tricky. Okay, so I kind of had to get creative to be able to show you the angles of the shots that I'm gonna be doing because this one's kind of low, low to the ground. This one's the second low intensity. And this one is called the kneel and shoot. And that's just basically because it's what it is. It's I'm just gonna kneel and shoot. This one's difficult because when you go up to shoot, 
and you're in the proper form. You have to rotate your hips around so that you're still able to aim at the target and then hit the target and use your back while you're at it. But this way, with my knees, I basically take out that rotation a little bit. Not all the rotation because I still, I'm still able to use my hips, but without uh, half of my legs basically. It's a little bit harder to rotate. So here is the kneel and shoot. Another thing I just realized when I shot that was that it actually takes away your balance as well because I'm used to balancing myself on my feet and um, your feet, really now that I think about it, your feet take up a larger area so that you can balance easier and your knees are not as long. <laughs> so it's a lot harder to balance too while you're at it. So this took away hip rotation slightly and balancing issues. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to the medium intensity trick shots. And this next one's called the sidewinder. So in regular archery form, normally what you do is you stand with your bow arm facing the target so that you're standing sideways. So my target's over here. I'm a right hand shooter, so that means my left hand will be holding the bow and I am facing this way. But in the sidewinder trick shot, I am now going to be facing the target. And this means I have to rotate all the way around to be able to shoot my target. And so this makes it harder on my back to be able to shoot the target. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> That one was definitely hard, but I think we can take it up a notch. All right, so this next one, we're taking it up a notch. What I just shot facing towards the target to shoot, so I have to rotate my, my body around to be able to shoot. So this time, this one's called the Martial Arts Master Trick Shot. And basically, this one's kicking it up two notches because not only am I going to be facing the target but I'll also have one leg up like this which makes it both easy, harder for me to balance and harder for me to rotate around to use my back to shoot. So here is the martial arts master. I'm nervous. I don't know how, but that was next. All right, so our very last medium intensity trick shot of the day is going to be called the half pint. And this is because I'm cutting half of my legs. Now I've already really done this with the kneel and shoot, but the kneel and shoot, I got to face in the direction that I normally shoot with in the archery form. But now I'm gonna take that away too. So I'm going to be facing the target and I'll be kneeling. I can't aim like I want to and I don't really have a lot of hip rotation anyway, but I'm still gonna to have to try and get hip rotation because now my body will be squared to the target and then instead of squared away from the target. And I'll have balancing issues as well. So this is why it's the last of the medium intensity trick shots. Just think of how hard the hard ones are going to be. That one was really hard to aim with. I was all over the target on that one. 
Oh my gosh. All right, now it's time to step it up. And for the first of the high intensity trick shots, I'm going to be doing one that I called grounded. Now you think, Sarah, you've already been grounded. You were on your knees. Now I'm going to be sitting. And we're just gonna cut out me just, you know, normal archery form where I'm squared away from the target. I'm going to be sitting and I'm going to be squared towards the target. So now I'm taking away normal archery stance where I am squared away from the target. Now I will not have any hip movement whatsoever. We shall see about this. Okay, that one was crazy hard because I couldn't use my back at all whatsoever. <laughs> well, I, I did use my back, but that was very, very, very hard because I could not rotate myself around enough to use it properly. So this is probably the hardest out of all the trick shots that I'm, I've done. That's why it's the last on the hard intensity list. And that's because it breaks down all of the archery rules and norms. It's called the Sundance Kid. And that's because in, Butch, in the movie, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the Sundance Kid claimed that he could shoot better. Now this is also with a pistol. He said he could shoot better when he moved that when he stood still, he didn't shoot well. So now that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to draw back my bow, jump, and then shoot. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how. All right, so before ending this video, I wanted to put a disclaimer out there about shooting trick shots. And that's basically that trick shots are exactly what they sound like. And they're really difficult. And a lot of times, if you're not careful enough, they can really hurt either you or anyone else around you. So definitely, if you were to ever go out and try something like this, definitely, definitely, definitely be careful about your, be careful for yourself, be careful for your surroundings so that you make sure that you don't damage or destroy anything. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope it might have taught you a little bit about the archer's form even though I was shooting trick shots. And I hope that you enjoyed the trick shots. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna know right when those videos come out, please click that bell. And I will see you on our next video. Bye.